Let's turn our attention now to developments on the international scene. And we start in Kenya as the police have fired dozens of tear gas canisters into crowds of thousands of opposition protesters on Friday as they attempt to march into the main business district of the capital to protest over tax hikes. Protest leader Raila Odinga called a protest to oppose tax increment that have been imposed at a time when many are already struggling with high price of basic commodities such as maize flour. Kenya's High Court ordered that the tax hikes be suspended by the government, but the government has raised petrol prices leading to a further court challenge. Raila Odinga addressed a crowd of about 2,000 supporters at an open-air ground just outside the main business district at lunchtime. He accused the government to, of failing to tackle the high cost of living, poaching opposition lawmakers and unilaterally reconstituting, reconstituting the election commission. It says they would then march to another park in the main business district. But police started firing tear gas to stop the crowd, some of whom threw rocks at the police before turning back. Television news channels also showed footage of police firing tear gas canisters to disperse protesters in the port city of Mombasa and there are other towns, including Kisi in the West. President William Ruto's government says the tax hikes expected to raise an extra 200 uh, billion shillings, which is equivalent to $1.4 billion a year, are uh, needed to help deal with the country's growing debt payments and fund job initiatives in the country.